lighting up a place if you want to light up a place really good place you can use this to light up a really good lighting spotlight for any kind of things that you're doing and that's totally right there welcome to upgrade i'm your host frank the tank today i got a nice little set of led lights we're gonna set them up and we're gonna talk a little bit more about them. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what you get when you purchase them like this. All right, so let's take a look at the new LED lights. Now, it does rotate to 360 degrees, all right? There's about 70 LED lights and it has a charging station. It's a solar panel in the back. So we're gonna take a look at it and also test it out with the sensor and see how well it works. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so one thing I noticed a lot of people are doing with these, they're actually buying for RVs, to be honest with you. A lot of people are taking these camping. These are perfect essential items for camping. Um, so they do give you a couple of screws here. So they give you the drywall mounts and extra screws, of course, you know, and to give you two sets, of course, for each one. Now let's open one up. And of course, the manuals included, included with this whole system, exactly showing you detail how to set it up from the ground up and where to set it up. A lot of people set them up in um, balconies, areas over garage looking out, um, dark little alleys that you have in your backyard, um, little areas that need lighting. This is a perfect thing. And you get to rotate them at certain areas that you want or certain places that if people are, if there's a lot of traffic there, you can have the sensor pick up anybody that walks through that system. So we're gonna open it up and see what you get on one of these. So we're gonna bring one up. All right, so let's take the measurements. Without the actual base itself, we're gonna move the base. We wanna measure this and see how big it is and how large. So let's go ahead and measure from here, tip to tip. We're looking at seven inches and then it's about four inches, seven by four. So uh, it's a small little base, but it has a punch, man, because if you notice, when you actually paste this part right here, and you actually set up the screws anywhere you are, uh, this is pretty much gonna be located to where the sun's gonna really rotate. This actually rotates a 360 degree angle. And on top of that, it, you could tie it up in here. If you notice, there's a screw here that you have to tie it up. You could tie this up a little harder so it, this one, this could adjust and stays fixed. So let's go ahead and tie it up. Say you want a certain degrees here, just get to your screw, your Phillips, tie it up, and that pretty much does it, see? It won't, it stays fixed. It stays fixed. I'm moving it. It's not moving. It's permanent there. Now, if you want to rotate different degrees, you can loosen this up. And this rotates too. Look at that. 360 degrees, right? So if you want to keep it like at certain angles, like a weird angle where the sun's coming in, just tie it up there. And that's pretty much it. And it will move. That's pretty much what I'm talking about. This is flexible. I like it that it's flexible. The whole thing is flexible. So charging station you have a very a large real estate of a charging uh, solar panel right here so this is going to get the maximum power it could so it could last you all night all right so one thing that i have to mention this thing has three different light modes all right so this could last you up to eight hours depending on your charge depending how much sunlight you're getting this could last you quite a few um hours now a co pick up sensors up to 24 feet. So after 20 seconds, it starts either shutting off or dimming down or it brights it up. Depends on what kind of mode you set up. So just to be aware of that. Um, these are very, 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 very durable. And of course, they're all waterproof and all guaranteed. And um, I like the unit. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up and see what you need to do. So it comes with screws that ready, all right? So packed in there. We're not gonna use the drywall because we're using the wood. Let's try to mark it with this if it's possible. This and this. So we got two little marks, all right? You can use a screw. To the first mark in here. Make sure you do pre-head, pre-drilling. It's important. All right. So we got the two holes here. You don't want you want to do it this way, all right? Make sure you guys do this way. Not this way because look at this. See? Make sure goes in there so it could be flush all right so put one in there this one all right we got it in here perfectly fine now look at this guys i'm gonna show you guys look how flexible it is it's perfect how uh, you could rotate this a hundred 
the green over look at that very flexible easy to rotate it, it doesn't hit there I just just me moving it uh, rotatable solar lights if you guys see it so you can fix this to a certain angles too so we're gonna loosen up this here so you could loosen it up here you can loosen it up and twist it however you want you can twist it anywhere down up look at that so you could twist it anywhere you want so if you want it facing this way we tie it up and that's pretty much it you tie it up and it stays there now the sensor you can put this facing a certain area where people are coming in and out which is perfect this is this is what i like about the sensor part but rotation look at this you can even rotate it this way look at that flexible easy to use all right just took it off from the actual rack itself all right i want to show you a different mount a way of mounting so if you don't want it to rotate or anything like that there's another way so we're going to go ahead and do that right now Make sure you line it up. There we go. Static. So you could just do the back. Like I say, you could keep it there. It won't rotate or anything like that. It stays fixed on an area. Um, just, you know, make sure you leave a little gap on between the screws. And that's about it. So pretty much it. So to line it up, you got to measure these part right here. You got to make sure. I, I kind of messed up twice. So I had to redo the hole. But, you know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't properly count the inches or anything like that. I just try to do it by eye, but it's best if you just do it this way. Mark your territory, mark it, and then, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Does static? So you have two versions of it. You have the static one here that will move, and then you have this version here that does the rotation, a whole rotation. All right into different areas you could even balance it left or right we're gonna come back at night to see how dark it gets all right guys we're gonna demonstrate we're gonna turn off the lights behind us and turn this one on one two three there goes the first mode and of course if i move it's gonna turn on and this is the other one over here that we have we have this one this one, how many lumens does it have? Let me just find out. Two or three feet. Of course, we put it on the floor. Down. Look how strong it is. It's not bad. And the further away, let's do it from the back. Turn this off. One, two, three. No sensor on. That's completely off. It's completely dark. We're gonna turn it on. One, two, three. That's with the sensor mode. That one stays on. If I move, it's gonna become a little brighter. See? That's the one. The next one dims down. One next more. One, two, three. And it turns off completely. So that's pretty much it. Take this one off if you guys see it. Look at that. Just to let you guys know, look how you could also use it to fix your car at night and it has it acts like a kickstand with this thing so you could go in here check out your car fix your car lights you could use this as in case you're going to get hit as an emergency stop you can put it right here so your car won't be hit in an emergency too um this lights up pretty good all the cars you guys can see it really good underneath the car so it dims down this is one of the sessions and when you walk close to it it brights up so this is one of them see how bright it is so this one stays on now let's go to the next, uh, next, next mode all right the next board we're just going to walk by and see i'm on about 10 feet away from it and it lights up 10 feet away from me be 10 feet away almost. so that one turns off in 20 seconds after it's done so you could use this as a flashlight to fix your car very simple like it so if you guys like this kind of stuff let me know i'm your host frank the tank and we are out